Songs of Innocence by William Blake. Introduction Piping down the valleys wild, piping songs of pleasant glee. On a cloud I saw a child, and he laughing said to me, Pipe a song about a lamb. So I piped with merry cheer. Piper piped that song again. So I piped, he wept to hear. Drop thy pipe, thy happy pipe, sing thy songs of happy cheer. So I sang the same again, while he wept with joy to hear. Piper, sit thee down and write in a book that all may read. So he vanished from my sight, and I plucked a hollow reed, and I made a rural pen, and I stemmed the water clear, and I wrote my happy songs every child may joy to hear. The Shepherd how sweet is the shepherd's sweet lot, from the morn to the evening he stays. He shall follow his sheep all the day, and his tongue shall be filled with praise. For he hears the lamb's innocent call, and he hears the ewe's tender reply. He's watching while they are in peace, for they know when their shepherd is nigh. The Equine Ring the sun does arise and make happy the skies, the merry bells ring to welcome the spring. The skylark and thrush, the birds on the, of the bush, sing louder around to the bells' cheerful sound, while your sports shall be seen on the equine green. Old John with white hair does laugh away care, sitting under the oak among the old folk. They laugh at our play, and soon they all say, such, such were the joys when we old girls and boys in our youth time were seen on the equine green. Till the little ones weary, no more can be merry. The sun does descend and our sports have an end. Round the laps of their mothers, many sisters and brothers, like birds in their nest, are ready for rest and sport no more seen on the dark green. The lamb, little lamb, who make thee? Does thou know who made thee? Gave thee life and bid thee feed by the stream and over the mead. Gave thee clothing of delight, soft as clothing, woolly, bright. Gave thee such a tender voice, making all the veils rejoice. Little lamb, who made thee? Does thou know who made thee? Little lamb, I'll tell thee. Little lamb, I'll tell thee. He is called by thy name, for he calls himself a lamb. He is meek, and he is mild. He became a little child. I a child, and thou a lamb. We are called by his name. Little lamb, God bless thee. Little lamb, God bless thee. The Little Black Boy my mother bore me in the southern wild, and I am black, but all my soul is white. White as an angel is the English child, but I am black, as if bereaved of light. My mother taught me underneath a tree, and sitting down before the heat of day, she took me on her lap and kissed me, and pointed to the east, began to say, Look on the rising sun, there God does live, and gives his light, and gives his heat away, and flowers and trees and beasts and men receive comfort in morning, joy in the noonday. And we are put on earth a little space, that we may learn to burn the beams of love, and these black bodies and this sunburnt face is but a cloud, and like a shady grove. For when our souls have learned the heat to bear, 
the cloud will vanish, we shall hear his voice saying, Come out from the grove, my love and care, and round my golden tents like lambs rejoice. Thus did my mother say, and kissed me, and thus I said to little English boy, when I from black and he from white cloud free, and round the tent of love of God like lambs we joy, I'll shade him from the heat till he can bear to lean in joy upon our father's knee, and then I'll stand and stroke his silver hair, and be like him, and he will then love me. The Blossom Merry, merry sparrow, under leaves so green a happy blossom sees you swift as arrow. Seek your cradle narrow near my bosom. Pretty, pretty robin, under leaves so green a happy blossom hears you sobbing, sobbing. Pretty, pretty robin near my bosom. The chimney sweeper. When my mother died, I was very young, and my father sold me, while yet my tongue could scarcely cry, Weep, 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 weep. So your chimneys I sweep, and in suit I sleep. There is little Tom Ducker, who cried when he said that curl like a lamb's back was shaved. So I said, Hush, Tom, never mind it, for when your head's bare, you know that the suit cannot spoil your white hair. And so he was quiet, and that very night, as Tom was asleep in, he had such a sight that thousands of sweepers, Dick, Joe, Ned, and Jack, were all of them wrapped up in coffins of black. And by came an angel who had a bright key, and he opened the coffins and let them all free. Then down a green plain, leaping, laughing, they ran, and washing a river and shine in the sun. Then naked and white, all their backs left behind, they rise upon clouds and sport in the wind. And the angel told Tom, if he'd be a good boy, he'd have got for his father and never want joy. And so Tom awoke, and we rose in the dark, and got with our backs and our brushes to work. Though the morning was cool, Tom was happy and warm, so if all do their duty, they need not fear harm. The little boy last. Father, father, where are you going? Oh, do not, do not walk so fast. Speak, father, speak to you, little boy, or else I shall be lost. The night was dark, no father was there. The child was wet with dew, the mar was deep, and the child did weep, and away the vapor flew. The little boy found. The little boy lost in the lonely fen, led by the wandering light, began to cry, but God, ever nigh, appeared like his father in white. He kissed the child and by the hand led unto his mother brought, who in sorrow pale, through the lonely day, the little boy weeping sought. Laughing Son When the green woods laugh with a voice of joy, and the dimpling stream runs laughing by, when the earth does laugh with her merry wit, and the green hill laughs with the noise of it, when the meadows laugh with lively green, and the grasshopper laughs in the merry scene, when Mary and Susan and Emily with their sweet round mouths sing ha ha he, when the painted birds laugh in the shade, where our table with cherries and nuts is spread, come live and be merry and join with me to sing the sweet curries of ha ha he. A song. Sweet dreams from a shade over my lovely infant's head. Sweet dreams of pleasant streams by happy silent moony beams. Sweet sleep with soft bound 
Wave thy brows on infant crown, sweet sleep angel mild, hover over my happy child. Sweet smiles in the night hover over my delight, sweet smiles, mothers smile, all the life long, night beguile. Sweet moans dove like sighs, case not slumber from thine eyes, sweet moans, sweeter smile, all the dove like moans beguile. Sleep, sleep, happy child, all creation slept and smiled. Sleep, sleep, happy sleep, while over thee those mother weep. Sweet babe in thy face, holy image I can trace. Sweet babe, once like thee, thy maker lay and wept for me. Wept for me, for thee, for all, when he was an infant small. Thou his image ever see, heavenly face that smiles on thee. Smiles on thee, on me, on all, who became an infant small. Infant smiles are his own smiles, heaven and earth to peace be wild. Divine Image To mercy, pity, peace and love, all pray in their distress, and to these virtues of delight return their thankfulness. For mercy, pity, peace and love is God our Father dear, and mercy, pity, peace and love is man his child and care. For mercy has a human heart, pity a human face, and love the human form divine and peace the human dress. Then every man of every clime that prays in his distress, prays to the human form divine, love, mercy, pity, peace, and all must love the human form in heaven, Turk, or you. Where mercy, love, and pity dwell, their God is dwelling too. Holy Thursday. Twice on a holy Thursday, their innocent faces clean, came children walking two and two in red and blue and green. Grey-headed battles walked before with wands as white as snow, till into the high dome of pools they like Thames waters flow. Oh, what a multitude they seemed, these flowers of London town, seated in company as they sit with radiance all their own. The hum of multitudes was there, but multitudes of lambs, thousands of little boys and girls raising their innocent hands. Now, like a mighty wild, they raised to heaven the voice of song, or like harmonious thunderings the seats of heaven among. Beneath them sit the aged man, wise guardians of the poor, then cherish pity lest you drive an angel from your door. Nurses song. When the voices of children are heard on the green and laughing is heard on the hill, my heart is at rest within my breast and everything else is still. Then come home, my children, the sun is gone down and the dews of night arise. Come, come, leave off, play and let us away till the morning appears in the skies. No, no, let us play for it is yet day and we cannot go to sleep besides in the sky the little birds fly and the hills are all covered with sheep well well go and play till the light fades away and then go home to bed the, the little ones leaped and shouted and laughed and all the hills echoed Night The sun descending in the west, the evening star does shine, the birds are silent in their nest, and I must seek for mine. The moon, like a flower in heaven's high bower, with silent delight, sits and smiles on the night. Farewell, green fields and happy grove, where flax have tinned delight, where lambs have nibbled, silent move, the feet of angels right. Unseen they pour blessing and joy without ceasing on each bud and blossom and each sleeping bosom. 
They look in every thoughtless nest where birds are covered warm. They visit caves of every beast to keep them all from home. If they see any weeping that should have been sleeping, they pour sleep on their head and sit down by their bed. When wolves and tigers howl for prey, they pit in stand and weave, seeking to drive their thirst away and keep them from their sheep. But if they rush dreadful, the angels, most hateful, receive each mild spirit new worlds to inherit. Under the lion's ruddy eyes shall flow with tears of gold, and pitting the tender cries and walking round the fold, saying wrath by his meekness and by his health sickness are driven away from our immortal day. And now beside thee, bleating lamb, I can lie down and sleep, or think on him who bore thy name, grace after thee, and weep. For washed in knife's river, my bright mane forever, shall shine like the gold as I guard over the fold. Spring Sound the flute now it's mute, birds delight, day and night, nightingale in the dale, lark in sky, merrily, merrily, merrily to welcome in the year, little boy full of joy, little girl sweet and small, cock does crow, so do you, merry voice, infant noise, Merrily, merrily to welcome in the year. Little lamb, here I am. Come and lick my white neck. Let me pull your soft wool. Let me kiss your soft face. Merrily, merrily to welcome in the year. Infant joy. I have no name. I am but two days old, what shall I call thee? I happy am, joy is my name, sweet joy befall thee, pretty joy, sweet joy, but two days old, sweet joy I call thee, thou dost smile, I sing the while, sweet joy befall thee. A dream. Once a dream did wave a shade over my angel-guarded bed. That an emnet lost its way, where on grass methought I lay. Troubled, wilder than forlorn, dark, benighted, trouble-worn, over many a tangled spray, all heartbroke, I heard her say. Oh, my children, do they cry? Do they hear their father sigh? Now they look abroad to see, now return and weep for me. Pitying, I dropped a tear, but I saw a glowworm near, who replied, What wailing white calls the watchman of the night? I am set to light the ground, while the beetle goes his round. Follow now the beetle's hum, little wanderer, hi be home. On another's sorrow. Can I see another's woe and not be in sorrow too? Can I see another's grief and not seek for kind relief? Can I see a falling tear and not feel my sorrow's share? Can a father see his child weep nor be with sorrow filled? Can a mother sit and hear an infant groan, an infant fear? No, no, never can it be. Never, never can it be. And can he who smiles on all hear the wren with sorrow small, hear the small bird's grief and care, hear the woes that infants bear, and not sit beside the next pouring pity in their breast, and not sit the trouble near, weeping tear on infant's tear, and not sit both night and day, wiping all our tears away. Oh no, never can it be. Never, never can it be.
He that gave his eye to all, he becomes an infant small, he becomes a man of war, he thou feel the sorrow too. Think not thou can sigh a sigh, and thy maker is not by. Think not thou canst weep a tear, and thy maker is not here. O oh, he gives us he gives to us his joy, that our grief he may destroy, till our grief is fled and gone. He that sit by us and more.